Perhaps you've all heard about Amber Heard's recent appeal for mistrial on the recently held defamation case between her and ex-husband Johnny Depp. We all knew how the case ended, with Johnny walking out of the court regaining his dignity and reputation, while Amber Heard was devastated and perhaps thinking how she'd be able to pay the $10.35 million she owes her ex-lover. But as we predicted a few videos ago, this is certainly not the end for the Aquaman actress. For all we know, this is just the start of another excruciatingly long era of Amber Heard trying to drag Johnny's name down while the latter is starting to rebuild the life she ruined. But as Johnny Depp is always the protagonist in any story, he wouldn't let his ex-lover ruin her newfound life a second time. The Pirates of the Caribbean actor just countered Heard's mistrial attempt, something you shouldn't miss. Today's video will tackle all that and more. But before any of that, make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons for more videos like this. Now, let's begin. Less than a day after Amber Heard gave formal notice of her intent to appeal the verdict in Johnny Depp's defamation trial against her, the Aquaman star's ex-husband has launched his own countermove. In paperwork filed this morning in Fairfax County, the former Pirates of the Caribbean actor has put his legal players on the board. Plaintiff and counterclaim defendant John C. Depp II, by counsel, hereby appeals to the Court of Appeals of Virginia from all adverse rulings and from the final judgment order of this circuit court entered on June 24, 2022, said the four-page notice of appeal. Depp's appeal, which is currently being used as a legal strategy, is both a direct response to Heard's July 21st appeal and an attempt to get back the $2 million judgment that the Virginia jury handed Heard in her $100 million countersuit against Depp and his 2019 $50 million case. Approximately $15 million in damages were awarded to Depp by the seven-person jury on June 1st, following a six-week-long and contentious trial. Due to the Old Dominion legislation cap on punitive damages, Judge Penny Ascarat reduced this award to roughly $10.3 million. This was an overwhelmingly positive verdict for Mr. Depp, a source close to the Jeff Beck sideman's camp said, less than 24 hours after Heard filed her long-expected paperwork. The verdict speaks for itself, and Mr. Depp believes this is a time for both parties to move on with their lives and heal, the source added. But if Ms. Heard is determined to pursue further litigation by appealing the verdict, Mr. Depp is filing a concurrent appeal to ensure that the full record and all relevant legal issues are considered by the Court of Appeal. However, reps for Heard did not respond to requests for comment on Johnny Depp's appeal notice. Early on, Amber Heard notified a Virginia court that she will appeal the $10.35 million judgment she was ordered to pay ex-husband Johnny Depp during a high-profile defamation trial that exposed the inner workings of her troubled marriage. In Fairfax County Circuit Court, after a six-week trial featured compelling testimony from both Heard and Depp, Heard's attorneys filed a notice of appeal. In the letter, Heard informs the Virginia Court of Appeals that she plans to challenge the result, as well as any decisions the judge made following the verdict, including her denial of her request to have the case dismissed, the verdict set aside, or a new trial ordered. We believe the court made errors that prevented a just and fair verdict consistent with the First Amendment. We are therefore appealing the verdict, a spokesman for Heard said in a statement. While we realize today's filing will ignite the Twitter bonfires, there are steps we need to take to ensure both fairness and justice. Since their brief marriage ended in 2016 due to charges of physical mistreatment, a temporary restraining order against Depp, and a media frenzy, this checkmate-style legal interaction today is only the most recent. For a late 2018 Washington Post op-ed in which she bylined about becoming a public figure, symbolizing domestic maltreatment, Depp sued Heard in March 2019 for $50 million. Even though Depp's name was never mentioned in the ACLU written article in the Jeff Bezos owned newspaper, he claimed it devastated his already waning blockbuster career. Depp has now asserted that he was the one who was mistreated in the relationship, despite the fact that he remained silent throughout the couple's 2016 divorce, in his files and on the witness stand in the Virginia trial. Heard attempted to get the lawsuit dismissed or removed from Virginia before the trial began, but was unsuccessful. So two years ago, he countersued for $100 million. Before Depp's UK libel case against the Sun tabloid for dubbing him a very bad name, which was unsuccessful, took place. That action was taken. Heard said under oath in court earlier this year that Depp repeatedly attacked her while they were together, 
in addition to hurting her physically and mentally, an assertion that the actor angrily refuted during his own testimony afterwards. Depp's appeal notice and heard from Thursday both come a little over a week after Azkarate rejected an ambitious attempt by the latter's Elaine bredhoff led team to overturn the $10.3 million judgment and verdict in Depp's favor and obtain a brand new trial. Fast and furious on so many levels, Depp's Brown Rudnick attorneys referred to the action as frivolous and baseless. Even though they cited the fact that it seems the wrong person was seated on the jury, Heard's attorneys were soundly rebuffed by Azkarate on July 13th. The juror was vetted, sat for the entire jury, deliberated and reached a verdict, said the Fairfax County judge, who presided over the sometimes circus-like trial that started in mid-April. The only evidence before this court is that this juror and all jurors followed their oaths, the court's instructions and orders. This court is bound by the competent decision of the jury. Before all of these have gone down, we all heard rumors about how Amber Heard will try to turn this situation around, as she is obviously going broke after all these cases and trials before her. There's just no way she will accept defeat that easily. Although Heard's net worth is vague, her work in television and films such as Aquaman and Aquaman 2 has made her millions. After their 2016 divorce, she received a $7 million settlement from Depp, which she committed to contribute to charities like the American Civil Liberties Union. Because of Depp's lawsuit, she indicated that she hadn't yet fulfilled the vow throughout the trial. According to Newsweek, testimony throughout the trial showed that Heard's career had halted as a result of the court's dispute with Depp. That may raise doubts about Heard's ability to pay the damages, which include $10 million in compensatory damages, and $5 million in punitive damage, the latter of which was lowered to the Virginia cap of $350,000 on such awards. Heard was also granted $2 million in the action by the jury. Elaine Charlson Bredhoff, Heard's attorney, informed the court that her client can afford to pay the $10.35 million judgment. Oh no, says the host of the Today Show, certainly not. Heard plans to challenge the judgment according to Bredhoff, who did not address Heard's financial alternatives in respect to the sentence. So, yes, to say it simple, Amber Heard is indeed going broke. While Heard has the right to appeal the verdict, she may be compelled to post a bail for the whole $10.35 million judgment, plus interest. While the appeal is pending, according to attorney Sandra Spurgeon of Lexington Spurgeon Law Group, for an individual who doesn't have the ability to pay the judgment and no ability to post the bond, then there's a real issue of if the winning party intends to execute the judgment, Spurgeon told CBS Money Watch. The Aquaman star had to transfer legal representation, according to many reports, and is relying on her homeowner's insurance policy to fund the expense of her current attorneys in the lawsuit. According to insiders, the traveler's company has paid the majority of Heard's attorney cost under the provision of the actress's insurance policy. However, before all these went down, a judge had already rejected a request from the Aquaman actress to set aside the $10 million defamation judgment awarded against her in favor of the ex-husband. With time and everything that is yet to go down, all we have to do is wait and perhaps keep ourselves updated. This, for sure, is just the tip of the iceberg for Amber Heard, and what else she's capable of doing is yet to be discovered. Well, that's all for today. We hope you enjoyed that video. And if you did, make sure to hit like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for more videos like this.